Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be learning about elements on the periodic table. So we're specifically going to be looking at atomic number and atomic mass. Um, and this is lesson 1.4. Um, okay, so the periodic, so you have the notes for these, of course, you're just going to fill in, um, fill in the blanks here and fill, write down everything that is, for, mo for the most part, the things that you need to record on your sheet are uh, written in red here. So the periodic table contains information about the elements. Uh, first thing you need to write down is atomic number. So the atomic number is defined as the number of protons in the element. So this here, make sure you write down that. Um, so the atomic number is the large whole number usually found above the element symbol on the periodic table here. So I've just got this little, um, this little, um, picture here that shows how the, the elements are written on a periodic table. So the atomic numbers are these little numbers up top here. So the whole numbers that are found usually on top of the element symbol on the periodic table. So for example, if we look at oxygen, everyone finds oxygen on here. Um, oxygen has an atomic number of eight, which means that it has eight protons, okay? So eight protons in an atom of oxygen. Now, for example here, so we're gonna take a look at calcium. So what is the atomic number of calcium? So if we look here, it's got two numbers on here, but the one you're gonna pick for the atomic number is the 20. Uh, now, how many protons does calcium have? So if it's got an atomic number of 20, that means that it's got 20 protons. Now, how many electrons does it have? That is also going to be equal to 20 because atoms are neutral. So if something is neutral, that means that the positives must equal the amount of negatives. So the positive charges must equal the number of negatives. And so what that means, the number of protons is going to be equal to the number of electrons. So that's why we have that 20 there, because it is neutral. Next definition we have is atomic mass. So atomic mass is equal to the protons plus the neutrons in an atom. So you can copy down this here. Uh, now the atomic mass is the number with decimals. So normally this would have decimals um, and it is usually found below the element name on the periodic table. So again, we're gonna look at calcium here. Calcium has an atomic number of 20, which we already established, but the atomic mass is gonna be this thing here, so 40.08. Now, we're gonna look at this one. So, uh, we're gonna take a look at lithium. Um, so, how many protons does lithium have? So remember, protons is equal to the atomic number, so I'm gonna have three. Now, how many electrons does lithium have? If it's got three protons, it's gonna have, those are positively charged, it's going to have the same number of negatives, so it's gonna have the same number of electrons, so protons and electrons will be equal in a neutral atom. Now, third question, this one's a little different. So, how many neutrons does lithium have? Now, we've already said that um, atomic mass, hold on a second, oh, oh, I missed a, a spot here, sorry guys. What is the atomic mass? So that's gonna be our 6.941 here. And this came from here, there we go. Um, now, looking at this, the question is, how many neutrons does lithium have? Now, we know that protons plus neutrons equals the atomic mass, right? So I'm just gonna write this out here. So mass is equal to protons plus neutrons. Now, in an atom of lithium, I know that the mass here is 6.941. So I'm gonna take that mass, but I'm gonna round it to a whole number. And you always wanna round to a whole number because you can't have point, point 0.1 of a neutron, for example. Uh, so if I round the 6.94, I'm gonna get number seven, right? So 6.94 bounds to number seven. So seven is going to be equal to the number of protons, protons is three, plus the number of neutrons. So what number plus the number three is going to give you seven? That's right, so N is going to be equal to four. And depending on how far you got in your math 
last year, your math courses, you may have done something like this. 7 equals 3 plus n. And then your, your teacher would have taught you, well, how do I solve for n? I want to get rid of that 3. So to get rid of that 3, I'm going to take it to the other side of the equal side. So 7, but I'm going to change the sign, right? So 7 minus 3 is n, and then n equals 4. And that's how we did that. Uh, we'll do another example of that in a minute here. But OK. Um, next on your page here, we have standard atomic notation. So uh, we've got carbon with a 12 and a 6. So sometimes you'll see it written on the other side. Uh, it can be on the left or right, it doesn't matter. But the mass number is usually um, the upper one, the superscript, and then the subscript would be the atomic number. So looking at this, I would say the mass number of carbon is 12 and the atomic number is six. Um, let's go ahead and do that for calcium. So if we look back at calcium, the mass number was going to be 40 and then the atomic number was 20. Um, if, let's do an element uh, of, of nitrogen and you can find nitrogen on your periodic table. The mass is going to be 14 and uh, the number of or the atomic number will be seven. Okay so that's how we write those. That's the general standard way of doing it there. Uh, so in summary, to find the number of protons, that's an atomic number. To find the number of electrons, it's going to be equal to the number of protons. And then thirdly, to find the number of neutrons, you're going to subtract the number of protons from the atomic mass. And you're going to round to the nearest whole number. Um, so let's do an example just of that third one there. Um, and we can go ahead and do, uh, let's do calcium here. So calcium, we said, had, uh, sorry, 20, oops, just a minute, here I go. Okay, so calcium, we said, had 20 protons. Um, now the mass was 40 point, was it 40.1 or 40.01? I'm forgetting, just a minute here. Calcium was 40.1 is the mass, right? Now, to find the number of neutrons, I'm going to take 40.1. I'm going to round it to a whole number, so it's just going to be 40. Uh, so the atomic mass is going to be equal to the number of protons plus neutrons. So 20 plus what number gives you 40? N is going to be 20 in this situation. So you would have 20 neutrons. Um, okay, so you're going to do an assignment now on these, which will give you lots of practice here. Uh, so finish the worksheet on determining the number of atomic particles. So I'd like you to do the front side of that worksheet. And you can do the back if you want more practice, okay? Uh, but I'm not assigning the back. So that's only if you want to do more practice there. Okay, and I think that's it for today. Thanks, everyone.